The dream you have in your heart was put there for a reason. It was sewn into you as part of your life's journey. It's not a joke. It's not some vision that you might have. It was put there because it's possible. This thing called life, some people call it a marathon. I say it's a process. And I say one of the best ways to go through life is, is to, to have a spirit of optimism and to be open to the possibilities. And when you approach life in that spirit, it gives you power, creativity, and gratitude to make the journey. Anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. You can do what you want. You can change your life. Right now, you don't have to go into work tomorrow. You can just drive off and move somewhere. You don't have to hang out with the people you hate. You can do what you want. You're free. The limitations are in your mind. But like I always say, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. And it's not how much you have. It's what you do with what you have. We all have different talents. Some of you will be doctors, some lawyers, some scientists, some educators, some nurses. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Nothing's better than that. Not, not jewelry, not big house I have, not the cars, but the, the, it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is in helping others. One of the things that we have to always keep in mind, that we have the power to determine what we're going to let into our experience. And many people allow themselves to buy into the negativity of the world. Today, if you don't program your mind, you will be programmed. So you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to set aside time every day, for at least an hour, that's what I do. I listen to something motivational first thing in the morning, and the reason I do that, whatever you listen to the first 30 minutes when you wake up, it will control the spirit of your day. I review my goals, I do my meditations, my chanting, all of the things that will get me grounded and rooted and prepare for the day. And I have a quote that I always say to myself, Lord, whatever I face today, together, you and I can handle it. I pray that you put your slippers way under the bed tonight so that when you wake up in the morning, you have to get on your knees to reach them. When while you're down there, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. Get up every day and say, today, I will be in the right place. I will talk to the right people. I will make the right thing happen in my life. I'm here to tell you, if you're big enough for your dreams, your dreams aren't big enough for you. That means you have superhuman power to completely change your life at any moment you decide. Once and for all, forget about your past. None of that means anything. The only thing that counts is what you do going forward. The only thing that counts is how you live the rest of your life. You have the ability to live every hope and dream that this life has ever helped you to focus. You have the ability to do that. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Reinvent yourself every day. Look at ways to get better, improve. Chase that dream, it's in your heart, it's in your soul for a reason. It was wired there to give you strength, to give you purpose, to give you direction. That's why you're here. You are creative, genius, you are creator. You are creator of your experience. 
all the events you have experienced in your lifetime up to this moment have been created by thoughts and beliefs you have held in the past. How can you be happy in this moment if you continue to choose to think angry and resentful thoughts? If you insist on holding on to the past, then you will never be free. A lot of what we normally say and think is quite negative and does not create good experiences for us. We have to retrain our thinking and speaking into positive patterns if we want to change our lives. Don't talk about the way you are, talk about the way you want to be. Get up in the morning and invite good things into your life. I am blessed. I am strong. I am talented. I am disciplined. I am focused. I am prosperous. It is time for all of us to wake up and to begin to consciously create our lives in a way that pleases and supports us. You can choose to change your thinking. It won't turn around overnight, but if you are consistent and daily make the choice to think thoughts that make you feel good, you will definitely make positive changes in every area of your life. What you choose to think about yourself and about life becomes true for you. Negative talk brings negative results. Negative words can keep you from becoming who you were created to be. Don't fall into that trap. Quit calling in defeat. Quit talking about how it's not going to happen. Are you worried about things that are only temporary? Letting something steal your joy because you think that's the way it's always going to be? When you face opposition, things don't go your way, recognize that it's not permanent. That's not your final destination. Quit worrying about things that are only temporary. Quit losing sleep over a temporary stop. Quit being discouraged over something that's only for a season. It's not permanent. There need to be quiet moments in your bedroom, quiet moments when you're brushing your teeth, that we need to reaffirm, I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. If I don't say it, if I don't believe it, no one else will. Envision a great life. Plan your life. Think about where you want to go and not just where dinner's going to be tonight. And then go fight like crazy and live the life you designed. We can't think negative thoughts and expect to live a positive life. We can't think thoughts of defeat and failure and expect to live in victory. I wonder what would happen if all through the day, instead of putting ourselves down, instead of dwelling on the negative, we would go around thinking, I'm a masterpiece. I'm wonderfully made. I'm talented. I'm original. I have everything that I need. Once you decide who it is you want to be and the type of life that you are wanting to live, you're going to have to raise your own personal bar to uphold that standard. Picture in your mind right now your ideal self. What is he or she doing? What does he or she look like? What is their life like? Really imagine in, in vivid detail what exactly that looks like. And now you can go to your current state of being, your current self, and ask yourself, what am I not doing that that person has done in order to achieve that level of excellence? Who you are right now, today, is not who you have to be tomorrow. You can literally change your life in under one second. The human mind is always looking for what's wrong. The human brain is not designed to make you happy, it's designed to make you survive. Happiness, that's your job. And you only get it if you draw a line in the sand, that's how it's going to be. If you go around talking about when you're going to get it, making plans for it, most likely you won't be disappointed. You're calling it in, just like you're sending it an invitation. Well, if you want to know what you're going to be like five years from now, listen to what you're saying about yourself right now. When you get up in the morning, don't focus on all your flaws. Look in the mirror and dare to say, I am beautiful, I am young, I am vibrant, I am confident, I am secure. 
I am royalty. I am excited about my future. What would be your perfect day? I mean, your ideal day, a day that you went to bed that night and you just thought that was the most incredible day. That's how I want most of my days in my life to be just like that. What would that perfect day be like for you? What would you be like on your ideal day? Would you be weak and fearful or would you be courageous and strong? Would you be judgmental and mean and upset, full of hatred and, and jealousy and anger and regret about life and other people? Or would you be somebody who's open and excited for other people and connected with other people and positive and enthusiastic? You can design your days. You can make your life about what you want it to be about. So what do you want it to be about? There need to be quiet moments in your bedroom quiet moments when you're brushing your teeth that we need to reaffirm I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate if I don't say it if I don't believe it no one else will what are some of your mornings like do you go to bed but then when the alarm goes off you hit the snooze then you hit the snooze again then you hit the snooze again and then you've laid in bed too long, and so then you get up. Of course, now you have no time for anything. There's something really interesting about time. We all get the same amount in a day. Every day is 24 hours. And some people are very, very fruitful and effective, and some people just waste their time day after day after day. And that's a choice that we make. But there's one thing about time. Once it goes by, you never get it back. So how tragic it is to waste any day of your life. Don't ever waste a day. Don't wait until the end of your life to have that ideal day. Don't wait until next year or next week to have that type of day. We can choose to wake up every single day and live that day in an idealistic way for ourselves. In a way in which we show up as who we want to be. In a way in which we are doing things that enliven us and engage us and get us excited. In a way that we're doing things and being with people and creating experiences that feel alive and fulfilling. We all know what the thing is that we're supposed to be doing. If there's anything that's presenting us with a pretext not to do it, bank on it, that's resistance. Why not find some time every day to practice becoming fearless? Why not use whatever irritates you or frustrates you or frightens you during your day as bravery training? What starts to happen to you when you're getting there earlier, working harder and doing things other people aren't willing to do, you trick yourself. You convince yourself, I'm willing to do things other people aren't willing to do, so I deserve a life other people aren't willing to get. What you do every day is far more important than what you, what you do once every decade. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get, and I can just get every single pocket of 24 hours right as best as we humanly can, the rest of our life is going to take care of itself. So small wins matter. When you start your day, you must own your morning. And you know exactly right now what you're not doing. It would be criminal of you to leave here and say, I don't know what to do. You know exactly what you're afraid of. You know exactly what you've been avoiding. And you've got to make a decision to change it. You know exactly what it is. Don't BS anybody. You know what you need to do different. You know the changes you need to make. And if you can do that and stop kidding yourself, you can win. You can overcome your fear, overcome procrastination. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. And what makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. Let me say that again. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. And only in a state of discomfort can you continually grow. A pro will not accept the excuses. A pro will not let fear stop him or her. Uh, a pro sits down and does it no matter what. You're gonna see supernatural doors begin to open. You're gonna see promotion. 
You're going to see vindication. You're going to discover talent that you didn't know you had. You're going to accomplish goals that you thought were impossible. 